let's take a look at something now that you won't see a lot, but it is included in the rulebook, and it is kind of a fun thing to know, especially if you are big into keeping score, or if you like the mathematical portion uh, of baseball and the rules. And so what we're going to look at is how to prove a box score. Proving a box score. And the rulebook includes this at the end in the official scorekeeper section. And what it explains is that if you add up these no items up here, and then you add up these three at the bottom, you should get the same number. And if you do get the same number, then that means that everything uh, has checked out and that you have kept score correctly. So let's uh, just run through a quick example here. So as you can see, this top category up here includes at-bats, walks, hit batsmen, sacrifices, and that's both sacrifice flies and bunts, and interference and obstruction. Because remember, things like walks and hit batsmen, those will count as plate appearances, but not as an official at-bat, because we don't penalize the uh, batter's average for that. And then the second category is put-outs, uh, number of men left on base, and the number of runs they scored because if you think about it there's only three things that can happen uh, to a batter either he's going to be put out he's going to make it on, get on base and if he gets on base either he's going to score a run or he's going to be left there uh, whenever three outs are up at the end of the inning so let's take a look at this game here the Mets played the Orioles the other day I think this will be a quick example because uh, R.A. Dickey for the Mets pitched, pitched a one hitter and so this sh should be a quick uh, way to run through this. So let's look at how um, Baltimore's lineup did. And it, as you can see, it, it wasn't uh, very well for their offense. But as far as at-bats went, you can look in the box score. You can see the totals down here. So they had 28 at-bats. Um, if you look in the walk column here, they had two batters walked. Uh, they didn't have anybody hit by a pitch, and you'd be able to see that in the uh, figures listed underneath the main score here. So they had zero. Um, as far as sacrifices, they had zero. And the rarest category, you rarely ever see somebody who made it on base due to interference or obstruction. They had, uh, the Orioles had zero in this game. So the, we could total those up and we of course get uh, 30 for that top category. So now let's look at this second area here, and this is going to be put outs. Obviously the uh, Orioles batted nine times, or nine innings, three outs an inning. That's going to give them 27 outs. We saw down here also listed uh, the number of men left on base. They had three men who they left on base, and of course they scored zero runs. So we can add this up. Simple math, 27 plus three, that'll give us 30. And so we can, of course, see that these two numbers here will both check out 30 and 30. That means that we have just proved this box score and all these figures look to be correct.